Hey YouTube, it's Keisha coming at you another time again. As I said, I have so much time on my hands to do videos, so you will be seeing a lot of me. So if you do want to have, hear what I have to say, okay, so today I will be talking about um, moving from the city, Brampton, aka Toronto, I guess you can call it that too. But so yes, I moved from Brampton to Mount Forest. And yes, a lot of people like when I tell people that I'm moving, they're like, oh, so where are you going to? And when I said Mount Forest, they're like, where is that? Is that in Canada? Yes, it's, it is in Canada. It's like um, possibly I would say about two hours and 15 minutes from Toronto and from Brampton it's about an hour and 15 minutes depending where in Brampton, Brampton you are at. Some people it may take about two hour, um, sorry one hour and 30 minutes but it's way north and um, I'm new to the town or to the country. I have I know no one here. No one, no one, no one, no one, no one and there's hardly any Hardly ever. Um, our, f the, our first visit was all white people. Second visit that I noticed, we noticed one black guy at Tim Hortons. And our third visit, uh, we saw another black guy. I'm not sure if it's the same person that we saw, but we're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So anyways, um, we moved here. I, there was a house that I liked that I fell in love with and I will be talking more about it because I'm going to be doing a lot of house tours and house decors and like um, Renaults and stuff like that. So um, there was this house that I saw and both the kids and I, the girls, we were like, okay, we love it. Let's go down there and see how far it is. We drove down and we're like, oh my gosh, where is this place? So finally we found it and when we walk in, we're like, oh, this is catfish. This place looks beautiful in the picture and when you walk in, it's just so much work to be done. And then I'm like, okay, we're sort of, we're like, okay, we're, we love the area, just that one visit. We felt welcoming, even though it was kind of scary because we didn't see any other black people. And so we, um, I went home, started to do some research, saw this beautiful home that was on the market. It was on there for about four months, I believe. I think it was even after purchasing it, I realized that it was on there longer than that, but it's so beautiful. It's a house by itself, has like two acre land, but as you will see it has a pool it has everything that you can ask for but it's not really what I wanted but God exceed God exceed my expectation but as I said I will be talking about that on another motivational videos if you haven't watched any of my motivational videos go ahead and watch it I will be putting links below and it comes out they comes out every Mondays inspirational motivational spiritual videos but let me go back to where um i stopped so yeah so i saw this beautiful home so i decided that okay i wanted to see it so i sent an email to someone i don't know online and they got in touch with me and they forwarded me to someone else that will be able to take me to um to see the home in person so I got in touch with that lady and she brought me to the house and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's a testimony by itself. But let me tell you about coming here in Mount Forest. For us, it was scary for, I don't know, for the kids, they didn't really think much of it, but I guess because we're older and we know about <clears throat> racism and those kind of stuff, it was a little bit scary for me, but I just wanted to get out of the crowded area. Um, Toronto was so crowded, so expensive, like homes are so expensive in Toronto. Brampton is becoming crowded, crowded and crowded. I don't want to say too much about Brampton, but it's just crowded and I just wanted a breath of fresh air. And I just don't want neighbors anymore. I just, I just, I just want to be able to walk naked in my house. Yeah, yeah, 
Christian do that too. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. But yeah, um, so every, like everyone that I met, they were like super, super nice, extremely nice. They were like, every, as you walk out, they're like, good morning, good morning, good morning. Whereas in Brampton, you just walk past each other. You don't even say hi. You don't even say hi to anyone. Who has time for that? So I have that old stuff within me that I will just pass by and then they'll be like, good morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot my mom. Just, good morning. So I'm trying to break myself to get used to saying hi and good morning and stop and speak with people because it's a really tiny town. Um, it's a country area and um, everyone knows everyone because <laughs> I went to the grocery store and this lady, she stopped me and she's like, are you just passing through or you are new? And she's like, because I've never seen you before. And I went, okay, I um, knew I just moved in a week ago. And then she started to give me a little bit of history, what to look out for and, and stuff like that. She told me she was a black woman. She said she's married to a Jewish. And she said she was getting a lot of fights against um, the white people here. But I have, I personally have not experienced that. They're so welcoming, like so, I don't know. They're like so happy that other races or other people are moving into their town. And I feel like they feel like they're expanding and probably that's what they wanted. Like a different, different faces, you know, different type of people. Like there's majority of people that lives here, they're all family members. So I guess just to have the feel of people wanted to live in your town, I, I guess, I don't know, but they're super nice at school. The kids, I was worried about the kids. Yeah. So I went and visit their classroom and they're in each of their classes, they're the only black person in their classroom. And I know they were a little bit intimidated or they were like, oh my gosh. So when I picked them up the first day from school, they're like, oh my gosh, mom, there's no racist in our school. We met friends so easily. Everyone wants to be our friend. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find it funny. And, um, but even for myself, I haven't met anyone yet. Like, someone that I can you know sip coffee with or anything yet like I haven't met anyone yet my neighbors are way I have neighbor on one side and he's like probably I would say there is about four acres of land in between us and I'm at the end unit and there's like an half acre of land after my after my um, house I keep on saying unit because I work in the um I worked in the um, the industry, but it's huge. And my neighbors across from me, I do have about three neighbors across from where I'm living, but I have about half an acre of driveway, I would say where 12 cars can park um, in front of me. So yeah, none of my neighbors gonna hear me scream, but um, I'm honestly enjoying it. I love it. I love the move. I'm glad that I did it. I know, like, I don't know. I, I, I believe the kids are more happy that they did it. Uh, we're not getting any feedback. Like, my parents are saying it's too far. My family, everyone is saying it's too far. And I'm far away from everyone else. But I'm enjoying it. I'm, I, am, I am enjoying the alone time. Even though I didn't really have anyone coming around or visiting or um but i don't know it's just having neighbors and you know just always finding somewhere to go in the city i'm glad that i'm not able to do that right now because honestly i spend so much money get i get home and i'm bored let's go to the store let's go here let's go there here you don't you, you can't go to the store here the grocery store is yeah a little bit pricey the pizza store the kids talk about that a lot it's way overpriced but that's okay with me that will help us to eat more healthier and um i've been cooking more which i don't really like cooking and i don't cook a lot but i decided um now that i started my youtube channel i will be doing a lot of cooking thing and you know i i, I like this breathe of fresh air and let me know if you have ever moved from the city and what your journey moving was and how it felt or if you ever move into a city where you're you feel like a minority or 
um, that you are the only set of black family within that and, and let me know how you know people look at you at first I thought people were staring at me and judging me when I first moved here but I think there were more like oh my gosh hello welcome in and stuff like that plus another streak secret I will I should let go we are we have one of the or the second I would say the second biggest house on the street so people may think that we have a little bit of moolah but it's just God blessing but you know so I think I don't know if that's one of the reason why um, we get a lot of respect but I don't know but I would say overall they're super super nice I've never met any one like gone to any places and seen people so nice and welcoming but yeah so i'm enjoying the ride so i will update you and let you guys know if it's still what's going on or if i ever encounter any racism or any anything out of the norm i will update you guys but i'm loving mount forest and yeah it's far away from everywhere and I have like two events like two family events this weekend to go to and in the winter it's it's not good driving in the winter especially at night it's fog and the fog is th so thick I rather honestly drive in the snow than that thick fog you cannot see anything everything is white and because the, there's majority open fields everything is just white just white you cannot see but these people are so used to it they're they're like going through the snow going through the fog and I'm like oh my gosh but they're used to it I'm not used to it I don't know when I'm gonna get used to it if I'm ever gonna get used to it but for now I'm gonna have to cancel some of my family events I know it's not gonna sit well with my family because they're not gonna see me as often as they would usually but um, yeah I'm really enjoying it so but I will update you. So I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month.